I've had the good fortune to work with novice players and also some of the top pros. And interestingly enough, the problems that the top pros have are similar to the, the problems the beginners have. That's generally that they're not doing the basics correctly. Let's begin with the ready position because that's where everything starts from. The ready position that most club players have are some, some ready positions that you would never believe. I've seen a lot of club players with a racket way up in front of their head and eyes, and they're really, they really can't see the ball, but they think it looks good. Or they'll be down here with a racket and their nose to the bottom of the court. From that position, they're also in problems because their weight's forward, their balance is gonna be in trouble. So what I stress when I teach my students is to have a nice, relaxed, ready position where the racket level at the waist, the left hand or the free hand grabbing the racket slightly and comfortably and having a nice, relaxed stance. Notice that my elbows are relaxed, my shoulders are relaxed. My weight is on the balls of my feet. I'm ready to go. I'm not standing on my tiptoes, but I'm nice and relaxed in an easy movement position. From that position, I can go either to the backhand side comfortably or to the forehand side comfortably. From there, we go into the early preparation. It's really important that you get the racket back quickly and early and smoothly to ensure a chance of hitting the ball correctly. Many players wait until the ball bounces before they start to take the racket back. The good players are the ones that the racket's back when the ball bounces. That's why the pros look effortless when they're hitting the ball. They're in position when the ball bounces. They're not getting into position when the ball bounces. Now, that leads us into the next point, which is to have good balance when you hit the ball. Many players are under the theory that they've got to lean into the ball before they hit it. They've got to have their weight moving forward before they hit it, either on the forehand or on the backhand, that your weight should be forward. That really throws your balance off, because if you're leaning forward before you hit the ball, it's all going to be with the arm. So the proper balance is that the racket and hand are back, your weight is on your back foot. As you go to hit the ball, the racket and the hand leads you into the shot. Your weight moves as you hit the ball, not before. Another key thing in forehand and backhand and all fundamental parts of the game is that the head basically should stay very still. You should really track the ball with your eyes, keeping your head movement down to a minimum. Use your side vision, peripheral vision. The reason for this is that if you move your head and take your head down to see the ball here, you're really taking your eye off the ball. So then when you hit the ball again, you're going to try and pick it up again. If you keep your head still and move your eyes, you're going to be able to see the whole court, be able to get an idea of the whole picture of what's happening. Now, that moves us into the probably one of the most important things that most players don't do, and that is they don't let the racket do the work for them. Rackets are designed to help you, and many players, when they find that they let the racket do the work, it's a much easier game. There's a nice movement in that when you hit the ball, the wrist moves the racket head through the shot. Many players never move the racket head through the ball. Their hand leads everything through. They finish high and there's nothing behind the ball. On the forehand again, the wrist and the hand lead the racket head through. Putting it all together, you need to have a good ready position. You need to get the racket back before the ball bounces. You want to keep that head still and you need good balance and you need to let the racket head do the work.